Hello everyone and welcome back to Warm Snow. This delightful game. It has been a few days since we last played. We intend on uh, running and winning some of this game today. It's just, we're just gonna win. We've been struggling to win and this time we will win. We're using our throwing sword lady uh, uh, build today, which is excellent. Is how we like it. Back to the scroll of the wall. This is what? Our third, fourth try? Oh, well, I mean episode, I suppose, because we have had more than that many tries. So the game is definitely pretty challenging, and I think most of it comes down to uh, getting used to the various enemies that we have to fight, as well as uh, not necessarily having the right builds. I do tend to use builds designed around just Fast Furious fun. <laughs> And not necessarily the most intelligent choices. But you know what? I stand by my decisions. They were they were good. They were good decisions for those uh, times when, when they worked. <laughs> but getting used to dealing with the final boss, that's a thing. We got some different stuff. Thunder damage increase, melee attack, speed up, movement speed up. When cause damage to an enemy whose health percentage is higher than yours, additional damage will be caused. The damage depends on the ratio of difference. So when we take damage, we'll do more damage. That's not so bad a thing to me. Eat all of my swords, you evils. I would love to have just like a super solid sword flinging build uh, at some point. So far, I'm not entirely certain. I'm not so familiar with all the different relics and items we can get that I know which ones I should have. Another skill is good, though. Get all the skills, yo. Hello, giant evil. The thing is, like, those big guys feel like they die so much faster when I go with this sword build, with the flying sword build, than when I go with the, the uh, melee combat build. It just doesn't feel like that does quite the same amount of damage. Could be me, could be the way that I'm performing, but um, but I can like kill those guys way faster. All right, uh, flying sword attack plus 35%. When it hits, chance to deal a whole shit ton of damage. I was just saying, I want to go with a flying sword build, and the game is starting to provide, so I'm happy about that. Now we'll head out and fight ourselves a giant wolf. I'm assuming. Yep, wolfy time. Ah, dang it. Got four seconds left before I can summon everything back. I'm just taking damage. All right, uh, get you, take those back, and then just do, 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 do. Ow. Okay, ouch. Ouch! I'm out of practice. What? Got him. Okay. That wasn't as good as I wanted it to be. Cold blood damage is increased. Chance to cold blood more often. Uh, during melee attack, chance to shoot all swords in front. And gotta get deadly blade. blade. I want to go with a sword throw build, so this can trigger cold blood just by nature of me tossing these out. Spirit Jade, fun dealing flying sword damage. You can increase your flying sword damage. It's like the game heard me. <laughs> flying sword attack has a 10% chance to deal additional damage. We're going to go with uh, Spirit Jade's core here. So we're looking for all the Spirit Jade. And Maniac's better, just straight up better. Uh, uh, yes, we're going. Next stop, heading here. We can get ourselves blue souls, a relic, or a better weapon. I think we're going to get another relic. Got ourselves blood fungus. We're going to take it as our power for now. We need to get more jade. Need all the jade in the world. Back to Swine Town. We got our potions refilled. That is some good news. Scroll of the pig. It's 
So our flying blade damage is getting better, in my opinion. I'm pretty sure it's pretty strong now. We got ourselves an elite fight. Elite has fallen. Got you. And Bao Huang. Melee damage increase. Hmm. I mean, it's very good. We lose some sheath cooldown, which I'm not super happy about. But you know what? Overall, Bao Huang is a much better weapon. So we might as well just use it. I would love it if my swords, like, returned to me easier. That would be another ability I want to get. You've all been defeated by me. I don't really care about um, about money. We're going for treasure. We don't need any spirit fire. We just threw all of our swords in the wrong spot. There's a weapon. Or there's a building in the way. Got you all. Ha 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 ha. Ow, piggies. Got you all. Okay. Pick these up. We break some boxes for the occasional spirit fire if we wanted to. Treasure open. And we got a white wolf main. Huh. There we go. When attack, 10% chance to ignore any damage and increase all damage we cause. That'd be great. We're going to go for another skill. I like the idea of lots and lots of really powerful passive skills. Comboing my sword attacks together with regular attacks when I get the buff is probably the best way to use them. Got you. All dead. Just like that. Yeah. Uh, Defense up. When attacked, we can gain a shield. Flicker distance is increased slightly. I like being able to dodge farther. We could use health, but not that bad. We're going to go for treasure. And we're going to have all of our weapons thrown the wrong direction. Going good so far. Collect our swords so we don't have to sheath. All of you have been defeated. And we got ourselves a treasure. And it is black powder. Throw a bomb every few seconds. I don't really like the black powder thing at the moment. Maybe if uh, we did it for a while, we could get used to it. Do you have some more jade? Please tell me you have jade. If you don't have jade, we could get stuff we've never gotten before. We have not gotten the real gur. Uh, strong real gur powder. Paralyzing enemies. Create a ball of real good power next to the enemy when we kill them. Flame damage you deal with poison the enemy. Enemies affected by poison do less damage to you. None of these are great. It's good for a poisoning type build. We don't have that. Um, so that's really good for non-bosses. We'll try this. What does this do? Spike shoot out of the ground to deal 31 damage. Uh, swimming spikes deal another 5 damage to the enemy on your final flow. Mm -hmm. On flickering, release a shockwave when you stop. That deals 8 damage to the enemy. I like that. So, we do like a little zoom, zoom. Little stompy stony thingy. Ow, right, you! Ah, god, no! Uh, we gotta stay out of that heal. Ah, dang it! Ow! Not this time. Nope. We'll just stay out of your range. We do have long range on our attacks now. I like that a lot. Oh, gosh, that was so close. Oh, no, she got me. Ah, what a jerk. We got to come back here and heal now. 
We've used up all of our healing potions, so that's not good news. No, you don't. Yeah. Got you. Ha. Ha ha. Heart racing. Uh, movement speed increase. All damage is increased by 25% of your movement speed. Okay. On dealing damage, all damage you deal is increased. Flame damage plus. We're going to get erratic. Mute limb. Damage against enemies with bleed. Does bloodlust. Make our enemies bleed when we do damage sometimes. Uh, damage against enemies with bleed. Restores health. You can stack bleed up to three times. None of these are great. We'll do that so we can make them bleed. We'll increase our movement speed. We'll get rid of the Icebreaker Stone, I think. Yeah. Because we do more damage with movement speed, that's going to be the thing. Nirvana is going to be recycled for 50 spirit energy stuff. We've already saved you, so you're good. All right. Ow! Only problem with having most of my damage being tied up to my flame or my flying swords is that when I don't have them, I do much more insignificant damage than before. Got you all. All right. Uh, we're looking at treasure. Ah, no piggy. Ah, bad piggies. Two piggies. Attacking preemptively is the thing I do sometimes. It's like, I'm attacking before I get to the range in which I can actually attack you. Ow! Okay, got you. Uh, we got ourselves Ambrosia. We can have a 30% chance to evade damaging attacks. Hmm. Wine Fairy mode. All your melee attacks in the next five seconds become finishing moves. Whew. That's good. We can make our enemies drunk. Oh, man. We can make our enemies drunk with <laughs> flying swords. We're going to do it. Um, I guess we're leaving behind the wolf main. And we'll head on to another ability. Got you. Okay. We're good. Was there still a pig back here somewhere? <laughs> they just disappeared, sort of. Oh, that was a good sheath. Went through everyone. Frost boost, frost boost bloodless blade, fun sword pickup, attack and movement speed are increased. Uh, was attacked seven times, we receive the leech effect. Yes, please. So we can leech and gain health back once I've thrown all my swords out and then start picking them up. So we'll just go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And we got it. Now we're leeching. One, two, three, four, five, six. It only lasts a little while. So we got to keep throwing these things out to keep it up. Is that what I'm understanding? Yes, that is what's happening. So we're leeching as we gain these things. We increase our damage when we move. I didn't mean to go there. Oh well. All right, beat it. Gained ourselves some more spirit fire. And on to the next area. Uh, we could definitely use some health. We'll get that. 
Um, another Spirit of Jade would be good. I don't think we've gotten a mechanical nozzle before. We'll grab that just to have it and see what it does for us. Flying sword damage, flying sword attack goes up. We get rid of the mutant limb for that, maybe? Every five flying sword attacks you make, shoot a spirit sword. That deals additional? Okay. Flying sword damage is increased 20% for three seconds when we sheath. Flying sword attacks has a chance to deal a bunch of extra damage, so we're going to take that one. Trying to stack all of these items consistently is what we need to do in order to really go with a very specific build. But for now, hey, why did my weapon change? Back to you again. We'll just skip that. Ow, I forgot to dodge. That's not what we want to have happen. I got stunned for a second. Draw these back. Fling out swords. No, you don't. Pick up all the swords so we can get some lifesteal again. This form, not so tough, really. Ow. Okay, but I am getting my butt kicked, so. Ah, I got stunned. <laughs> we have no health. And we're moving on to the next phase, so. It would be nice to have another flask. We really kind of need those. Um, and we need to make sure we don't lose any before the boss fight. So here we are. Our build is okay. If not, I, I, don't, I don't feel like it's the strongest in the world. It's okay. Yeah, come on. Come on. Ow. Did that hurt me? I certainly hope it didn't. I feel like it did. Ow, that hurt. One hand down. Nope, not gonna work that way. Gotta get up. Gotta get over here. Our life steal that we get out of this, the leech is very tiny. Uh oh, uh, I'm in the wrong spot. Go go! Ah, oh, dang it! Did not see the giant red area. That was dumb. <laughs> And we have died again. And we'll probably do so a thousand more times. We're going to work on getting to our uh, better herbal gourd. We'll go ahead and restart. Do this once more. Here we go. This time, uh, we'll go back, because we, we just back and forth here uh, between, between flying blades and strikes. I feel like the best we have done has been with strikes. I love flying blades, but I can't remember if the first time we did this, if we actually got what we wanted from that or not. Like when we got to the final phase for the boss. I think it was actually when we had the huge damage bonuses, to be honest. <laughs> we'll head in this direction, we'll go fight the other boss this time. Getting upgrades, though, I feel like is the right direction. It's, It seems like having a, a whole bunch of additional statistic bonuses is far better than some build options sometimes. Get us some of that. Uh, I don't need the health, but thank you. I guess every little bit does count in this game so far. And if we didn't have to... Um, worry about using our flasks then that's good news but so far this has been uh, a lackluster start for sure i'm not getting anything that immediately makes us more powerful we're already at the boss hello Yeah! Now you're gonna go and do the whole launchy thing at me. Ow. Got hit in the face. Like you do when you're 
not paying enough attention to the enemy's attack patterns. Miss me. Ah! Dark Moon, the Border Commander. Ow. Taking unnecessary hits multiple times in a row. We got gotcha. you. New skill, Sword Fusion. When, chance, when attacked, chance to take no damage and shoot a flying sword that knocks the attacker back. I like that. Uh, increased damage dealt by 5% for each sword not carried. Can be triggered by flying swords. Now we're going to take Sword Fusion. New weapon, all, uh, all damage plus 7. Enemies with stun take most more damage. Flame damage is up a huge amount. Enemies with poison take additional damage. So uh, we're looking for some options here. When shooting flying swords, you can shoot a Hydrarium Bolt that does poison damage, cause toxic effects. Melee attacks have a chance to cause toxin. Um, we're going to take Hydra Hydragyrum here because our sword will actually increase the damage of it. <clears throat> well, it'll increase the damage of an enemy that is affected by a toxic effect. And... Do I really want to keep this weapon? We'll take the Brolic. Active skill. Summon eight bolts of lightning. Summon one bolt of lightning every eight seconds. Overload effect and deal four lightning damage to surrounding enemies for five seconds anytime I sheath. I like that. Heading back to Swine Town. We haven't used our flasks yet. Our gourds are our gourds are safe. Nice. We're still just getting spirit fire. Ugh, hate it. Shopping so far for us hasn't been our best way of getting like good stuff. Which is why I'm feeling like, you know, it's not it's not necessarily the right choice. It feels like getting abilities and rewards and treasure and new stuff is is cooler. There we go. There's a new weapon. <clears throat> Maybe we find one that's better than what we currently have. Not sure. We'll, we'll check it out and see what happens. Lightning zone! Oh, that feels cool. <laughs> Why is there a pool of blood here? That's where our weapon is going to spawn? Okay. Blue Serpent versus Spirit Marshal. Sucks by comparison. Waste of time. We have another uh, elite. We'll go fight him. We can get treasure, but elites are fun. Fake lightning blasts. Aha. Oh, damn. Melee speed up 80%. Yes. Our attacks are now coming out in a flurry of magnificent blows. I like it. I like it. It's starting to feel stronger. An 80% attack speed increases. No laughing matter. I wonder if there's like an attack speed build we could have where we just attack like a thousand times a second. <laughs> Walk into my blender. Or welcome to my blender? Would that be a better way to say that? Yeah, I think so. Welcome to my blender. Zap. Uh, heading in towards some treasures. Question I have that I haven't bothered to even consider was uh, when we see directions we can travel to, are they color coded? with what rarity of said items we might find in, in that area. Because if they are, then I've been making some mistakes in my judgment which directions to travel. I guess we'll find out at some point here in the future. So this was green. Nope. Okay. 
enter death bloom mode and shoot 160 death petals in all directions over the next four seconds. Each petal deals three damage. All damage taken while in death bloom mode is reduced by 50%. Whew. Uh, leave death lotuses behind us. If an enemy comes into contact with it, it explodes. They deal three damage each time. We're going to take death lotus as a skill. We can use that with L2, I believe. Uh, we got a uh, thunderstone. We got a sharp fang. We got real gar. All kinds of stuff here. We're going to take a Thunderstone. Because we're using Thunder. Lightning Chain. Deal 4 lightning damage up to 5 enemies. Lightning Chain goes up a hell of a lot. Lightning damage increased when we flicker. Your lightning damage has an 8% chance to deal additional damage. Uh, final blow in a melee attack. Deals 29 lightning damage just Thunder Slash. Hydrogarium doesn't do anything for us anymore. Lightning lock, summons lightning every round. Um, we're kind of moving towards a lightning build, believe it or not. Yeah. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Um, take that back. We want that here. Thank you. And we shall take some health, <clears throat> put ourselves in, in a position for victory, and we'll move on back inside. Here we go again. Nameless Swordsman time. Ow. I have to admit that was pretty cool. Getting the uh, lotuses out there. Almost ready for another lotus barrage. There we go. Lotus barrage. We take 50% less damage while this is happening, so... If we can get a weapon that deals extra lightning damage, we will be ready. Take that. Yes. I'm feeling kind of strong now. Mechanical rotor. Uh, strafe nearby enemies and deal 66 flying sword damage within four seconds when you deal melee damage 28 flying sword damage every second for the next five seconds <laughs> uh, mechanical rotor seems cool if we got if we got one that was like super high level i would take that instead of the death lotus but i like the damage reduction we're getting from death lotus right now when you cause damage to an enemy whose health percentage is higher than yours this damage will be caused Rebel Gord's healing power is increased by 50%, but takes four seconds to finish. No thanks. Um, what weapon we got here? Hawkeye. Nope, you're going away. Sorry, you're the worst adventure. <laughs> no Hawkeye love. Underpowered. Underpowered. Not that Hawkeye is a bad character or a bad person. We'll see what a weapon we might be able to get here. They're also wor the thing is, is that weapons are also worth um worth spirit fire when we choose to sell them so it's just a waste in my opinion to go get anything else getting spirit fire when you have any other option available ink flare armor penetration is up enemies with poison take bonus damage rage gain goes up a huge amount um we don't have stuns flame damage or poison so ink flare is going to be better for us and then we'll just recycle you. And we'll go get a new ability. Yeah, pretty much any time you have an option that isn't Spirit Fire, that's the one you want to do. What is this? Spooky Room. Oh, it's the Eyeball Monster. It's a chirp. Time for us to throw out lots and lots of these things. Take this, you stupid monster. Uh, uh, you got me. Oh. You want to come after me? Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Ready? Out lasers everywhere. We should probably heal. Yeah, that was badly timed. I get it. I understand. And you've been defeated. Okay, armor penetration goes up further upon dealing damage. Increase all damage for us uh, so up to 35% bonus damage. 
melee attack speed. Mm -hmm. We're getting escalation. And all we have is spirit fire. I keep calling it that. Not entirely certain if that's what it's called. I don't, I don't think it's called that at all. As a matter of fact, it's never said that. But it looks like little blue flames, so I'm going to call it that permanently. That's, that's just my name for it. Sorry. Sorry, audience, if I'm making mistakes. <laughs> ah! That is such a cool looking ability. Uh, another weapon. Maybe we'll find something that increases our lightning damage. Yeah! And defeated. Warmonger. Nope. So finding uh, talismans or relics that match your weapon is how you get the bonus effects for them. We have not yet done that. It's like we have to keep an eye out for that sort of thing. Future. Got you. And this should be... Yep, back here. Let's heal. Ooh. Impossible Excalibur. What is that? I wish I'd had enough for it. Berserker blood, real gar, mechanical nozzle. We did not get one that was not just white. Dang it. Oh well. I guess we'll save money. Uh, not likely we'll be able to use it. We'll probably die here, but we're gonna try anyway. We're on the boss again. Congratulations, we made it. We have one uh, vial left. Ow. Oh, yeah? Well, now I can do this. Ow. He stunned me. Ow. He ran into me. I should be playing this far more safe than I am, for sure. I've defeated this boss without taking, like, any damage before. So it's definitely a possibility. There we go. Okay. Do I have more faith on our success rate that is a possible possibility here? Maybe, maybe not. If I have Death Lotuses up, I can reduce some of the damage we take. Maybe that'll allow me to get in a couple of extra hits. If I pay attention to the areas that I'm in, I can avoid getting squashed by giant red zones. But let's see what happens. Here's the fight. Ah! We'll work on this hand first, as we do. Ow, I got hit. Time for the pedals. And for some ragey mode. Lasers? Since when? That's one we haven't actually seen him use yet. Aha, missed. More pedals. Oh, God. No. Get out. Get out. All right, that arm came off. Good deal. Draw back the swords. Get ready to be attacked again. Missed me. Use the pedals. How I got hit. I got grabbed. Now I'm being eaten. Oh my god, I didn't die though. But that was that was really bad news. That's something we did not want to have happen at all. Almost got the other arm down. Alright, got it down. Now it's just onto the face, which is gonna hit us with big old laser blasts. We have to figure out how to avoid. Stay out of the way. No, 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 no. You don't get to eat me. You do not get to eat me. All right, we got pedals out. We got all the max damage we possibly can get. Come on, let's just keep hitting. Uh-oh, get out of the way. Where is it going to go? Where are you blasting? Oh, blood blast did not hit us. Okay, 
We're still alive at the moment. Still alive. Come on, get the swords in. Here it comes again. Don't hit me, please. Ah, oh, I wasn't far enough over. They were so close that time. Well, that's going to end it for this episode of Warm Snow. Hope you enjoyed yourselves. I had a good time. I had a good time. I'm looking forward to coming back and beating this thing's butt. So thanks for watching. And as always, have a good one and goodbye.